Ganz so gut. The inordinate delay in achieving a fair and just settlement has resulted in an unending cycle of violence. A clear legal characterization of the nature of Israel's regime over the Palestinian people can only assist in remedying the ongoing delay in achieving a just settlement. But how Israel's ongoing acts and omissions in Gaza, when will Israel's decades-long impunity for widespread and systematic human rights violations and violations of peremptory norms of international law end, if not now. Over the past 136 days, the world has watched in horror, daily, the relentless attacks on Gaza. The ferocity and violence of Israel's latest military campaign against Gaza and its flouting of international law including an order of this court, which was handed down on 26 January 2024, is the clearest indication that Israel considers itself unrestrained in its actions against Palestinians, besides their inalienable right to self-determination. We as South Africans sense, see, hear and feel to our core the inhumane discriminatory policies and practices of the Israeli regime as an even more extreme form of the apartheid that was institutionalized against black people in my country. It is clear that Israel has turned the temporary nature of the occupation into a permanent situation in violation of the Palestinian right to self-determination. It has done this through its illegal settlement enterprise, which now consists of an estimated 700,000 settlers an increase of 235% since the Oslo Peace Accords and of 165% since the wall opinion in the occupied Palestinian territory to ensure that the illegal situation... As the record of the past half century makes clear, Israel as the occupying power is not acting in the best interests of the population under occupation and is not administering the occupied territory in good faith breaching multiple Yuskogan's norms of international law, including the prohibitions on annexation, self-determination, apartheid and genocide, on which I have focused. Operation of the Chagos archipelago from Mauritius in 